rural cavemen living in an urban environment. Our bodies and our ancestors have existed in this form for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years. And all this processed bullshit ass food is only in the last, you know, hundred of years. So my number one top tip is if you can hunt it or gather it, eat it if you can't, don't. Because if you think about it this way, it never used to be such a thing as a diet. Because whatever the fuck you could get, whatever you could kill, whatever you could hunt, whatever you could drink, it wasn't like, that's it man, Let's just, just think about it that way, just frame it that way. We're in a fucking box that goes up and down, a magic building made of concrete and shit. But in the core, in our essence, we're all just talking monkeys on a spitting blue rock hurling through infinity. So put that in your brain when you're putting food in your mouth, baby. So let me tell you something, man. Hot tip number one, let's go. Let's keep filming, my hey. Hopefully my name is not coming. But that's what I'm saying, man. That's exactly what I'm saying. So you follow me here, buddy. Um, just think about it that way. Just think about it like that. Like you're a caveman. What does a caveman eat? He fucking hunts. He walks out. He walks in the day. He drinks water. This, mate. Welcome to Eating with the Eagle. That's it, man. Now that's what I'm saying, man. We're all just cavemen. So what we got here is we got some chicken, we got some steak, we got some eggs. That's your we got some goddamn tuna. That's your protein. Now I never count or track or none of that shit, but you want 30 to 50 grams every three hours, essentially. Um, and then you mix it, man. You mix it with the fucking salad, with avocado, with veggies, with nuts, sweet potato. And then you flavor it with no sugar. We got lemon juice, we got chili sauce with no sugar, lime juice, Himalayan salt, apple cider vinegar, cook with coconut oil. You cannot go wrong. That is the key, man. Simplicity is key, man. Frame it like that. Now this is one I whipped up earlier with my own goddamn bare hands. That's what I'm saying, man. One fucking fish slice, a lean meat, a steak. One of broccoli in the microwave. That's one meal for the day. Fucking easy, man. So, so easy. And that's exactly it, man. Now, how I got from that to this was I cut out all processed foods, man. And I cut out all processed carbs with the one exception of rice. Now, I have rice, like steak and rice, like an hour before I work out. And then I might have some banana and honey immediately after I work out. When you bust a heavy workout, you can use carbs. Generally, you don't need carbs, man. I literally went from 116 kilos to 82 kilos, and I'm just as strong, if not stronger, than that. Now, just quickly, too. Why I've got it, why I've got you here, why I've got a captive audience, man. This whole if it fits your macros bullshit. Like I said before, I'm not a nutritionist and I'm not a scientist and I'm pretty fucking dumb. But let me tell you something, man. I'm pretty sure getting the same amount of carbs from this or the same amount of carbs from this, I'm pretty sure you're better off going with the old banana, nana, nana, the old banana, man. Because let me tell you something. Just like my penis, you got to think about the micros. Hey!
Hey! Nah, I'm just kidding. Ish medium. But think about it, man. Think about the carbs and shit. If you're eating bread or cheese or burgers or whatever the fuck, the chips or whatever, you're like, no, here's my carbs, bro. It is my carbs and my macros. What about the micros? What about all the nutrients? This shit grew in the ground. This shit's been watered and stuff. You know what I mean? It's all about the nutrients for your body, man. Your body builds its cells from the energy of the food that you put in it, man. So if you're eating natural, good, healthy food, drinking water, apple cider vinegar, pink Himalayan salt, coconut oil, you're gonna fucking feel good, man. Because let me tell you something, everyone. I used to be a dirty stoner, and I used to eat shit all the fucking time, and I used to feel like shit all the time. And now I feel pretty fucking phenomenal, man. So, that's it, that's my fucking number one hot tip. If you can hunt it, or gather it, eat it. If you can't, don't. Fistful of the size, fucking, fist of fucking lean meat. Fist of fucking protein. Fuck. Sorry, it doesn't matter. We can keep going. We don't need to cut. But that's not salad, but that's smart. Fist, lean meat. Salad, veggies, nuts. Shredded, man. Woo! Now, if you want to track your calories and weigh your food and count your macros and all that stuff, that is awesome, man. That will give you a more accurate representation of your progress as you go along. Now, personally, I am a dumber, so fuck that noise, man. I find that shit tedious, and you find shit tedious and annoying, it's gonna be that much harder to stick to. <whistles> Fuck. Oh! Now you wanna text me back. Shakes my head. Alright, everybody, if I can do it, you can do it. Because let me tell you something. I am a self-confessed lazy piece of shit, man. Like, you have no idea. For example, I had this chick coming around my house the other week. I knew she was going to come. Hey, she did that too. But anyway, I had this chick coming around my house. And I knew she was going to come for a few days. And I looked around. I was like, whoa, I really need to clean the kitchen. I need to do the bathroom. I need to put the sheets on my bed. And I need to put my washing away. It literally took me one hour before she got here, before I started moving. Oh, let me show you. I really had to hustle. It doesn't make you a gay man, <laughs> if you like to fight ten. <laughs> and I got it done just in time. Ah, uh, yeah. 
does it, girl? I think you mean, come here, baby. Oh, shit. All right, man. Now, the whole point of me telling you that hilarious true story was to prove to you the point that I'm by far not the most disciplined man or the smartest, but you still have to put the work in. So these are the three things that I did to get shredded, mate. Now, first, I did fasted cardio in the morning, then I hit the weights in the evening, and then I went super duper low carb with my diet, man. Now I will take you through all three of them right now. All right, mains, it's fasted cardio time. So I get my lazy ass out of bed, and then on an empty stomach, I uh, might drink a little bit of black coffee, man, maybe a little bit of pre-workout, a little bit of caffeine to stimulate you. I grab my keys, and then I head down to the gym. All right, everybody, here we go. Now, the choice is yours, everybody. You can, if you want to, go on an exercise bike. Here we go. There he goes, yeah. Or you can do some uh, conditioning work. Like battle ropes or boxing or something like that, mate. That's it, mate. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Yeah. Or you can take the stairs, or you can take it outdoors, baby, and go for a run in the sun. You catch some waves and go for a surf, bruh. You can even get your fuck on. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do. The aim of the game is to move your body and to elevate your heart rate right up, mate. That's what it's all about. And to bust a sweat vein. It has to be strenuous. It sets up your metabolism for the day. All right. Now, personally, what I like to do is I do two sets of 20 minutes on the cross trainer, mate. And I listen to a little podcast while I'm on there, mate. So I'm training my little brain and I'm learning as I'm burning. Maxing out your time, baby. That's what it's all about. So I do 20 minutes and then I jump off and then I train my abs. Fit ball crunches, it's where it's at, man. You can get more leverage. Life is about leverage. You can go back further. Now, I never count. I just keep going till it burns, baby. Ready? Crunch. You just got to keep crunching, man. Feel the burn. That's it, man. And I superset that with leg raises, man. Now, control your legs on the way down. That is critical. Control and leverage, baby. Then you can work a little obliques in there, man. Work your little sides on there, man. There you go. There you go. Oh. That's it, that's it, there we go. And then I'm back on the cross trainer main for another hard and fast 20 minutes. Learning and burning, baby, let's go. Then I do that and it's back to the abs, baby. Just crunch that shit, just keep going. Crunching together, you know, that's it, man. Just crunch and then it's back to the leg raises, man. Work them little sides in there, man. Get them obliques going. And that, my mains, that, my mains, is cardio. And abs done for the day. All right, just quickly too, before I slide any further, baby. Drink water, motherfucker. I'm talking two, three, four liters a day because 70% of our bodies are made up of water. It's critical to the functions of every organ. It lubricates the joints, it hydrates the skin, and it makes you feel good, baby. Drink water, man, all day, every day. All right, now I grab my keys and I head back down to the gym. 
Now this is business time, let's go. Start with a warm up, do light weights, warm your joints and your muscles for the assault to come. Then I do three sets of compound lifts. Working sets, man, work the fucking muscles. And then I do motherfucking one heavy, heavy ass set, as heavy as you can safely go. I'm not that strong, but that's my own body weight. I'm pretty much pressing over my head. That's it, man. Fuck yeah. And always, always get one more rep in, man. Don't fuck around. That's it, man. One more for the road, baby. All right, now everybody pay attention. This is fucking business time. This is one giant set. So I've done my working sets and my heavy set. Now this is the fucking pump set, man. This is what it's all about. Pumping blood into the muscle. So I'm just pressing as much as I possibly fucking can. And then I superset that with an isolation exercise. So with your compounds with an isolation. I'm doing my shoulders, so I do front delt raises, man. No triceps involved, just fucking shoulders. All right, keep going. That's it, man. That is how you make gains, baby. Fuck yeah. All right, just keep going non-fucking-stop. That's it, man. And I superset that shit with chin-ups. Oh, yeah. Now, chin-ups are the shit. I do them every day and every way. Mix up your grips and chuck them between all your sets, man. You cannot go wrong with chin-ups. That's how you get them wings, baby. It gives my delts a little break, but it doesn't give my body a break, man. This is how you burn fat like a motherfucker. And this is how you look good without taking steroids. I train like this all the time. Round two, baby, let's fucking go. I just keep pressing, I go to failure. I press that shit. This whole workout went for like half an hour. I sped up the footage to cut it down, but I did so much damage in half an hour, man. You can do so much fucking good work in a short amount of time. Effort and intensity is what it's all about. Don't talk to your mates, don't go on social media. If you wanna do that, go to a cafe and get a fucking coffee somewhere, man. Fucking get it in. Round three, babe, bring it home. Bring that shit home, man. Press as much as you can, and then you do the isolation exercises. Now, I am fatigued by this point, man. I am fucked, but I keep going, man. That's how you get the vascularity. That's how you get the veins. That's how you get them gains. And that's why I look better than half of these fucking juicy boys, man. Because I have trained like this for fucking years. Get your pump on. That's what it's all about. One more for the fucking road, baby. Come on. I cannot possibly do another one. There we have it. One fucking giant pump set in the books. Get my pump on. All right. Now, this is a triple drop set. Same deal, I sped the shit up. Now, I'm just lifting 10 kilos here. Just like your body weight doesn't mean shit, the weights you lift don't mean shit. It's how you lift it, baby. Just keep fucking going. Target the muscle you're trying to target. Don't fuck around. Right, now I grab five kilos so I can keep going. I am burning at this point, but I don't fucking stop. I train like this all the time. That's how you get them veins, man. That's how you get the crazy cuts in your shoulders. Train like a fucking beast. You can do it. Fuck yes. Now just keep going. Don't stop. Keep fucking pumping, man. Pump the iron. Effort and intensity is what it's all about. Now I grab two motherfucking kilograms. That's two kilograms and I can barely hold it up. And I do a static hold and I do a bunch of pumps, man. I am just trying to get as much blood as I possibly can into the target muscle, baby. That's it, man. Keep fuck yeah. Now, train like this and just hold that shit. Fuck yes. This is one set and I've done so much more good damage in one fucking set than you can in an hour of fucking around. And that, my mains, is mission accomplished. Fuck yeah. I just got a goddamn dirty pump. And that, my mains, that, my mains, is gym done for the day. All right. All right. Okay, my mains. Now, here is a high-protein, super-duper, low-carb, healthy, Full days of eating. Now I'm gonna prep this shit all at once. Pay attention, cause I do fuck it up a little bit, but it is very easy. And that's what it looks like when it's all done. All right, now here is my breakfast. A standard Big Eagle breakfast. An eight egg omelet, baby. 
So this is what I do, man. I get two red onions and I chop them up, man, and I put them in a bowl, baby. Same thing with a gang of bacon. All right, chop that up, and then you just get a hot pan, wait till it's hot, and you just chuck it in there, man. That's it, man. Ah, oh, yeah. Now wait till it's nice and caramelized, baby. That's it. Now, the reason I do this, I make a whole batch of this stuff up, and I'll show you why in a second. But that's it, man. Ah, oh, it smells good, it's tasty. That's what it's all about. Second batch in the pan, there we go. Oh yeah, so that's the batch done, baby. Uh. Now, I have an eight egg omelet. Eat the whole egg. A lot of nutrients is in the yolk. You can take your egg whites and asparagus and you can fuck off somewhere, man. Being shredded and having a six pack does not mean you have to eat bland, shitty foods, man. That's it, man. That's what it's all about. And a little bit of cheese, man. A little bit of cheese didn't hurt anybody. Don't be scared of fats if you go super duper low carb. Add the bacon and onion in. Whip it up, whip it up, whip it up, whip it up. That's it, man. And our pan's already hot. Chuck it in. That's it, man. This will not take long at all. All right, baby. Wash the bowl. And that's it, man. The eggs is done, baby. Scrape that in the bowl. Now I'll add a garden salad to that. I'll show you why later. But first... Now... Have you seen what I was saying before? Why I cooked up a gang of bacon and onion? For moments like this. It's exactly for moments like this. Because this is my go-to drunk food, man. One fucking great big dirty handful. Maybe two, man, because I'm going to Two handfuls of bacon, egg, and somebody. As I had vodka. Six, seven, eight. I'm gonna have a ten egg omelet, man. It's on the big Oh dear. But that's it man, breakfast and a black coffee. Now this is super duper easy. This is meal two and three for the day. Just get a nice garden salad, big handful of it man. This is perfect for lunch and smoko and stuff like that. A couple of cherry tomatoes man, bit of color, bit of flavor, and then one or two cans of good tuna man. That's 30 to 50 grams of lean protein and a little bit of dressing man. That is perfect and it's so easy. Oh yeah. I had a little bit of seeds, that's some crunch in your lunch. Now, for a snacky dack, man, I'll have a protein shake with water. That keeps me full, stops me eating shit. Then another one, another tuna, man. Then a black coffee. Now, this is my pre-workout feed, chicken and avocados. Now, I already pre-cooked the chicken. I do it the same way as I do the broccoli. Pay attention, though, because I do fuck that up. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you just cut up the avocados, man. Avocados are fucking delicious, by the way. And then I have that, man. That is my pre-workout feed. Hit the gym, have a protein shake with water, and this is my dinner, man. All right. Now, same as the broccoli, same as the chicken. You just chop it up, baby. Chop it all up. That's it, man. That's it, man. Put it on an oven tray, a bit of lemon juice, a bit of pink Himalayan salt, and then you drizzle some olive oil on it. That's it, man. Ooh, yeah. That's it. It's tasty, baby. Now you chuck it in the oven, fan forced for 180 degrees. I'm a dumbass. I put on like 200. What an idiot. Duh. But 180 degrees in the preheated oven for 30 minutes, baby. Oh, yeah. Here we go. 30 minutes later, I take it out. Watch the steam. Oh, that's the steam there, baby. Now, as you can see, I burnt it a little bit. It's not too bad, but 180 degrees for 30 minutes is what it's all about. Now it's steak time, baby. Tenderize the steaks, that's it, man. Now I rub a little bit of oil on there. Use olive oil, coconut oil, or avocado oil. Stay away from vegetable oils, that shit is nasty. Then you just put on a bit of seasoning, man. That's it, now super duper hot pan, chuck them on, baby. And a little bit more oil on top, and a bit more seasoning. Now, I used to cook on a barbecue, but last Australia Day, I evacuated my whole apartment complex. So now, I just cook on a frying pan. And that is it, man. Oh yeah, two days worth of feeds. That's my dinner. It is that easy, everybody. Now, you flavor with salt, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar. I have low sugar chili sauce. Now, for supplements, I just take vitamin C and this. That is the shit. Surf meal, super greens. Oh, yeah, check that out. That's it, man. Drink apple cider vinegar, a bit of lemon juice, a bit of lime juice. That's it, baby. That's so easy. And that, my mains, 
is a full days of eating with the eagle. Low carb, fuck yeah. It's just it's that easy, everybody. Low carb, high protein. You don't have to starve yourself. You don't have to track calories or count macros or any of that shit. Just eat like that and you will be shredded, my mains. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah.